Welcome to today's episode. Tesla has just shown off the newest design of Optimus, and many believe this might actually be the Tesla Bot Gen 3 that Elon Musk has been teasing for a while. What really caught everyone's attention are its unbelievably realistic hands. They look almost identical to human hands, something we have never seen before in a robot. This could be the same hand Elon once promised would be able to thread a needle or even play the piano. But that's not the only update. This new version is also equipped with Grok voice, which makes Optimus sound much more natural when talking. Still, while most people are amazed, others are not thrilled, especially after hearing the jaw-dropping $200,000 price. Honestly, we were shocked too. So the big question is, are these upgrades really worth that much money? Is the Tesla Bot Gen 3 truly something groundbreaking? And how does it compare with the earlier versions? Let's dig deeper and find out. During the recent earnings call, Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla Bot 3 is expected to roll out later this year with a design created for easier mass production. However, he didn't go into detail about how it would actually differ from Gen 2. But just a short while ago, during a tour of Tesla, Mark Benioff gave us the closest look yet at the updated Optimus. And honestly, there's a lot to break down and analyze. First off, it's clear that this isn't a completely new or radical design as Elon had made it sound. The most obvious changes are the redesigned hands and a new paint finish. In fact, this same paint scheme was already spotted before on a Tesla bot that Kim Kardashian once showcased. So, in truth, we weren't all that shocked by the look. Instead, it makes us question a bit whether this is truly Optimus 3, or maybe just something like Optimus 2.5. What do you think? Drop your opinion in the comments below. Since the overall design doesn't have too much new to discuss, Let's shift to the feature that's drawing everyone's attention, the arms, and especially those highly detailed hands. What many don't realize is that the hands are actually at the very center of Elon Musk's philosophy for creating Optimus. He believes that throughout millions of years of evolution, no part of the human body has been more crucial than the hand. It's the tool that turned intelligence into physical action, allowing humans to shape the world around them. That's why, instead of racing to create robots that can dance or climb stairs, Tesla has dedicated over half of its engineering resources to making the hands as close to human as possible. Elon Musk has said several times that Optimus will eventually have hands with 22 degrees of freedom, narrowing the gap with human hands to just five. Looking at this updated version, the hands clearly look more advanced than any earlier Optimus. No wires, joints, or exposed actuators are visible. The hands almost look identical to real human ones. They appear polished, smooth, and natural. Still, this is probably not the final version of the hands. Most likely, Elon Musk wants to keep the real shock for later and show it at Tesla's upcoming shareholder meeting. For now, they are presenting this version mainly as proof that no one else can copy what they are building. And honestly, that Makes sense, especially since a former Tesla worker once stole the robot hand design and went on to form their own company. Tesla's recent silence around Optimus may be because Elon is keeping a tighter grip on information. Of course, even this early design is impressive enough to show that the robot will handle tasks better than before. At the very least, the new hand looks well protected against water. The earlier hand with 11 degrees of freedom already allowed. Optimus to fold clothes, water plants, hold an egg gently, assemble electronics, and carry a battery tray. Now imagine what a hand with 22 degrees of freedom could accomplish. Tesla once shared a video of Optimus catching a tennis ball with stunning precision. It looked simple, but the coordination needed between sensors, cables, and AI was massive. That clip revealed an important truth. Nearly half of Optimus's complexity lies in its hands. The difference in Tesla's design is that they don't stuff motors into each finger like most other robot makers, which usually makes robot hands bulky and stiff. Instead, Tesla places all the actuators inside the forearm. From there, a cable system that mimics human tendons transmits the force to move the fingers. 
This is the secret that makes Optimus's hands compact, flexible, and efficient. On top of that, each cable has force sensors, letting the robot feel the softness or hardness of an object and adjust its grip automatically. Thanks to this, Optimus can tighten a screw carefully, but also lift something fragile like an egg without breaking it. Another thing to notice in the latest demo is Optimus's voice. Honestly, it's impressive because there aren't many humanoid robots today that can actually hold conversations. Still, it needs more polish. While Optimus could answer Mark Benioff's questions automatically, the voice was a little quiet, and the delay was obvious. You could sense it paused as if it was thinking too long before replying. This might annoy some people, but from a technical angle, Tesla is still on the right track. The delay is probably because Grok Voice is being deeply integrated into the robot's hardware, which is a very complex task requiring perfect sync between AI and the physical actuators. Elon Musk explained before that Tesla uses cables and sensors that act like human muscles, and combining that with natural speech in real time is pushing the limits of their current system. Optimus needs to be able to speak while also moving. Naturally, like answering with voice and body language at the same time, and that takes more refinement. We're sure Tesla will fix this in coming updates. By 2026, when Optimus is mass-produced, we can expect Grok Voice to respond quickly and smoothly while moving in sync. This has to happen before Tesla fully launches Optimus. But the two things, that left us disappointed in the demo where it's slow walking speed and, of course, the price. It's hard to understand why, after a whole year, Optimus's speed still hasn't improved much, even though Gen 3 is supposed to be near. In the video, it almost walks like it's stiff or weighed down. Tesla's goal is for Optimus to eventually reach 5 mempio he, but right now, it doesn't even seem close to 2 melp. Even though its gait has improved a little compared to very early tests, we were hoping for a lot more. Optimus really needs to walk naturally, not crouched, and still keep good balance. That's the type of progress that will convince buyers. Honestly, nobody's going to pay so much money for a robot that moves slower than a turtle. So yes, we were let down by the speed. What was even more shocking is that Mark Benioff confirmed Optimus's price will be between $200,000 and $500,000. That's probably the worst news for anyone hoping to buy one soon. Elon Musk hasn't directly confirmed it yet, but the price immediately sparked heated debate. At that cost, Optimus is far out of reach for normal families and even many small businesses. Imagine a middle-class family or a startup trying to spend the price of several luxury cars just for one robot. No matter if it can play the piano or thread a needle, the gap between that price and everyday affordability is huge. It makes you wonder if this is really going to be a product for everyone, as Tesla once promised, or just for wealthy corporations and investors. This price is far higher than the $20,000 to $30,000 range Musk mentioned before. Many people feel let down saying that at this cost, Optimus won't be mainstream anytime soon. Some even joke that the Tesla bot costs more than a Tesla Roadster, while others compared it to Unitree's R1 for $5,900 or G1 for $16,000. The truth is, almost every part of Optimus is new. There isn't an existing supply chain for the motors, gearboxes, electronics, or actuators. The only real carryover is Tesla's AI computer, the same as in their cars. Musk once suggested Optimus could reuse many EV parts, but in reality, not much can actually be reused. That's why building Optimus is such a tough challenge, even with Tesla's advanced factories and world-class engineers. Early on, progress will be slow, and production costs will stay far from the $30,000 long-term goal. Musk even admitted that producing a million Optimus units per year probably won't be realistic before 2029 or 2030. That means we're likely 6 to 10 years away from Optimus actually reaching that affordable price point. For now, Tesla may release a limited number at prices of $100,000 for Gen 2 and $200,000 or more for Gen 3. Another major problem is the supply chain for certain key parts. The small servo motors in the hands require permanent magnets made from rare earths, 
and over 80% of those come from China. With trade issues and stricter export licenses, supply has become harder to secure, which slows production and pushes up costs. That's a big reason the robot is so expensive right now. But even at that high cost, the long-term vision is powerful. Imagine if one optimist could do work worth about $5,000 a month, equal to a full-time U.S. worker making $25 an hour. Then it would pay itself off in less than four years. And since a robot could last 10 to 15 years, everything after that would be profit. In higher value areas like logistics or healthcare, an optimist might create $10,000 a month in value, paying off in under two years. That's why the target customers aren't regular people, but big companies. At $200,000, Optimus isn't made to clean houses. It's designed to restructure entire industries. Large companies could buy hundreds of them to cut labor costs, boost productivity, and lower risks in dangerous jobs. We believe humanity has never been closer to such a huge, 